Hi, this is John Bailey, gemstone artist and founder of the Faceting Academy. I'm really looking forward to seeing you here, and to help ensure your success, I want to give you a short video about a few things you'll want to bring with you when you come to learn faceting. Of course, if you haven't made arrangements for your new machine to be delivered at the Academy, you'll need to bring your own faceting machine. In addition to your machine, you're going to need cutting and polishing laps. Cutting laps come in graduated numbers like sandpaper, with larger numbers representing coarser grits. You'll need a 260 grit lap for rough shaping stones. You can buy nice ones like this crystallite standard lap, and you can also get foreign made or second quality topper laps like this crystallite second that you can put on a master lap. Here's the master lap. I found that for coarse work, the cheap foreign made laps and second grade toppers work just fine and they save money. These generic laps are only about $40, while the high quality ones are usually over $100. You will also need a 600 grit lap. You will do most of your cutting on this and the quality of finish it leaves is very important. So I recommend a crystallite standard 600 like this one. I'm finding these for about $120 at the supplier I'm sending the academy students via email. You'll also need laps for pre-polishing and polishing and the ones I like cost about $30 each through the supplier I'm sending you by email. I recommend you have at least two of them, and preferably three. You can also use the wizard lap, which is available for about $25 each, and a link for that is also in your email. Some people like the dark side lap by John Rolfe, also known as Gear Loose. I do recommend that lap as a really good one, except that it's a bit expensive for a new faceter. At the bare minimum, you need a 260 cutting lap, a 600 cutting lap, and a couple of Corian or other composite laps. Other laps you may want to consider putting in your toolkit include resin bond laps made by Raytac with the trade name of New Bond. I like their brown 360 cutting lap because it leaves a very nice finish, and I especially like their red 600 pre polished lap, which is famous for the nice finish that it leaves. These cost about $135 each through the supplier I recommend. Everyone who works with precious stones needs a jeweler's loop. You can get a reasonable quality 10 power loop for $20 or $30. I recommend a triplet, a loop that has three lenses in it. This is fairly standard. All students at the academy will need dops down to 2 and 3 millimeter sizes. If you're acquiring your new machine through me, these will come with the machine. If you're bringing your own machine, please double check to ensure you have this equipment. It's necessary. Acquire it if need be. You're going to be using them. Everyone will need a transfer stand. If you're acquiring your new machine through me, this comes with the machine. If you're bringing your own machine, please make sure you have a transfer stand. Everyone will need dop wax. I personally use the Raytech brand black dop wax, but brown dop wax will work fine. I do not recommend, I do not recommend high temperature wax. It's difficult to learn with. Most lapidary suppliers have the standard and inexpensive dop waxes. Everyone will need super glue. Almost any standard super glue will do. A small bottle of acetone is also recommended for ungluing things you didn't intend to glue, like maybe your fingers. Please bring a bottle of isopropyl alcohol, 99%. We will use this for cleaning stones and dops, and I recommend finding a small pump spray bottle like this to put it in. We will also be using the alcohol in an alcohol lamp, which you will need to bring with you. I recommend the ones with the strange looking base that allows them to stand tilted like this. You can find these through science supply stores online for between five and twelve dollars, and I recommend buying extra wicks when you buy the lamp. Everyone will also need to bring their own roll of toilet tissue for cleaning stones and dops. I recommend you bring two-ply tissue and that you avoid scented tissue because it will leave a residue that can cause you problems. You'll need a gooseneck lamp that is taller than the height of your machine mast. In most cases that means at least 20 inches above the desktop. Please double check this to save yourself lots of frustration and a sore neck that can happen during the more than 60 hours of training you're going to get at the Faceting Academy. Bring exposed filament light bulbs for your lamp like this one. It's a good idea to have jeweler's tweezers in your kit. And I recommend a second set of spring-loaded tweezers like these for handling hot stones and dops. 
Everyone needs a spill-proof swarf catcher, like this one I made out of an old Gatorade jug. If you don't already have your machine, so don't know what size to make the hole, just remember to bring the jug and we'll put one together for you on the evening of the first class. Optivisors are very useful. Here are some views of mine, which I modified by attaching an inexpensive jeweler's loop. I find this a very useful and time-saving trick. I also recommend quarter-inch rubber faucet seals that you can buy at your local plumbing supply. They fit nicely on your dops to prevent water and swarf from gumming up the quill of your machine while you were examining your stones. And I recommend bringing a power strip to ensure enough outlets for machines and lights. Most of these items are mentioned in the print version of this equipment list, and all Fastening Academy students will receive that by email. That list also has direct links to suppliers for many of these items. Remember to bring any rough gems that you'd like to evaluate or to cut in the class. And email me with any questions that haven't been answered by this video and the package that you'll receive by email. If you're not already signed up for the Faceting Academy, go to www.facetingacademy.com to see if there are any seats still available. I look forward to seeing you at the Faceting Academy.